Hey, hey, I've been expecting you. I'm John Zadar. I'm the host of On Top and Hot, and this is the weekend of June 9th. Now, you may already know what we do on this show. We focus in on stocks that are under five bucks that have potential to make us money. These are called hot penny stocks. We are hot penny stock hunters, and my hunting ground are the charts. I look for charts that have heat. I'm looking for a breakout setup or a lot of volume coming in. Then I figure out what company it is. Because believe it or not, I'm not looking at companies' charts. I'm just looking at charts. Once I see a hot chart, I look up, see what company it is. Then I go rummaging around through their filings and their news presses looking for that hot match. What has got the chart running or what's going to get it burning? Those are the sort of stocks I like to share with you. Those are the sort of stocks I like to trade. Well, I got one of those for you today. This is MBOT, ticker MBOT, Microbot Medical Inc. Now, I have never heard of this company until late Thursday, and actually, I didn't find it. Not really. I seen a couple tweets on Twitter about it late Thursday afternoon and really didn't have any time to research it, but I seen there was buzz picking up on it. Well, Thursdays are when I do my live stream at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, every Thursday. You like that plug? <laughs> Well, when we started our streaming on Thursday, just a couple hours later, somebody asked about MBOT. So we took a look at it all together. Well, I was quite intrigued by what I saw. Then, during the rest of the show, three or four more people brought up MBOT. That was it. I said, I got to take a look at MBOT. I've done that, and I'm going to share what I found with you right now. MBOT, ticker MBOT. She finished the day on Friday at $2.61 and she dropped about 2%. Now this is a penny stock on the NASDAQ. So what does this company do? Well, you've probably already guessed they are involved in the medical sector, but they do not work with pharmaceuticals. They don't work with medicines. You don't have to worry about these phase one, phase two, phase three trials, which are gonna hold your money for five to eight years as the drugs get approved. This company is working with a device very much like a catheter, except this is a robotic catheter. They tell us here that Microbot Medical Inc. is a preclinical medical device company that specializes in transformational micro-robotic technologies with the goals of improving clinical outcomes for patients and increasing accessibility through the natural and artificial lumens within the human body. I don't even know what natural lumens are, let alone artificial lumens. The Liberty Robotic System, which is what you see in the pictures in the video, aims to improve the way surgical robotics are being used in endovascular procedures today by eliminating the need for large, cumbersome, and expensive capital equipment while reducing radiation exposure and physician strain. The company believes the Liberty Robotic Systems remote operation has the potential to be the first system to democratize endovascular interventional procedures. This is a big deal, folks. First off, this is a disposable device. This is something that can be used once and thrown away instead of a very expensive piece of device that has to be constantly maintained and sterilized. And believe me you, sterilization is a very expensive process. And this is something that is going to help keep the radiation down for doctors because they don't have to be standing right next to the patients as they're working. They can be far away with that remote control which is working on a Wi-Fi or some sort of wireless device like that. Now the company's been working on this for a very long time. They had this device, but it wasn't as good. They had to use what they call a deck, which kind of looks like one of those COVID desks to block bacteria, but it was to block radiation. But as you can see, it was very bulky. It took up a lot of space. Now they've got this very small one that you don't even need to be in the same room from what I am gathering. And this does everything that you would want it to do. Now, most people don't understand how delicate this procedure is and how intricate it is. They are guiding this wire through your arteries. And then when they get it so far, they open up this mesh, poof, and it opens up and puffs up so that they can get a second wire up through there. They can use this to put in stents, balloons, all sorts of stuff. It's very cheap and it's working very, very well. There has been a lot of news during May about the progress they are making. 
They aren't making any revenues right now, but they are just about ready to start commercializing and they are working globally. And like I said, this is a hot device that is going to be wanted. And right now, less than 2% of all surgeries are being done through robotics. So this is a virgin market. It is going to explode. And from what I can see, it looks between 20 and $30 billion market by 2030. But who really knows? So let's go take a look at that volume for the company. Considering she didn't have any news today, whoa, under the radar right now, folks. That's all I can say. God, that's a drop. From 7.7 .7 million down to a half a million shares. Now would be the time to look at it before she gets popular again. Share structure for MBOT is great. We have a legitimate low float. Anything under 10 million is a low float. Well, the outstanding share count for MBOT is only 8.1 million. Now, I don't know what the float is, but I know it's under 10 million. I know it's under 8.1 million. So I know we've got a low float. And that's going to come into play when that volume comes back. Looking at the financials for the company, she ain't doing anything. Not annually, not quarterly. But she ain't broke. If we jump into their most recent balance sheet for the company, looking at their assets and liabilities, total assets here, we have $9.5 million. $2.5 million of that is in the bank. $5.7 million is invested into short-term investments. Liabilities and debt, total is $2.2 million. So they are strong in assets. They just aren't making any revenues right now. But that commercialization is right around the corner of the Liberty. Looking at the disclosures for the company, we got a lot of them. There's a bunch of 8Ks here and most of them are correlating to the news because they had a lot of news come out in May and a lot of companies put out an 8K right along with the news. But they do have a financial you may want to dip into here. This came out on the 17th of May. If you really are interested in the company, forget about Google, forget about going through every single news press. Just jump into the most recent financial. They will have 100% of the history of the company. Everything from the day they started, every deal they made, even how much the management gets paid. Stock splits, everything is in there. So if you really are interested, that's the gold mine of information for you. Now let's take a look at that news. Microbot does have a lot of news. We're not going to go through all of it, but we're going to headline a bunch of it because it's important. Now, most of the news is in May. We got a couple pieces in June and a couple pieces back here in March. And these are real important because these give us the big picture of MBOT. MBOT is not just moving this Liberty device here in the United States with the FDA. Oh no, the whole world could use this, absolutely. So they are moving it abroad. They are getting into as many countries as they possibly can. And that's what we see in the March news presses. Microbot Medical increases presence in the EU with the addition of Greece-based key opinion leader. Also, Microbot Medical launches presence in the United Kingdom. So they are moving it out there and they're in other countries beyond those as well. Now a couple months go by and then we get a huge piece of news. The company's Liberty Robotic System surpasses 100th catheterization and everything is going good. They're not having any problems at all. As a matter of fact, it's going so well that the company makes preparations for the first inhuman case in Brazil for the Liberty Robotic System. So they're moving their device forward and they're in more countries again. Now this inhuman trial, this is their priority. This is everything they're working on right now, but they do have other products. Do some due diligence, you will see they got other things on the market. But this is the one they are most excited about. This is the one that can turn this company into a billion dollar corporation, in my opinion. Now, it was on May 22nd, the big piece of news came out. Look at the charts, they exploded this day. Microbot Medical achieved 100% success rate for Liberty in extensive preclinical animal study performed by leading European physicians. Jumping into this piece of news, they tell us here that the company announced a highly successful extended joint preclinical animal study held at a leading European based research lab. A team of six leading European interventional radiologists, 
utilized the system and performed a total of 48 catheterizations to predetermine vascular targets, and they list those targets, which I'm not gonna say, with a 100% success rate of reaching the intended targets. The 48 successful catheterizations are part of the company's recent announcement regarding surpassing 100 catheterizations during the multiple preclinical studies with a 95% success rate of reaching predetermined vascular targets. They're using the arteries as highways. This is how you get to that tumor or the blockage or whatever it is, and that's how they work on it. Rather than cutting the person open, they can just come in through the arteries with these little tiny tumors tools and do their work. The next piece of news, there's actually three of them that I want to combine here together. This one here, they got $1.4 million in a registered direct offering priced at market price. They announced a 2.7 direct offering of common stock at $2.20 per share. And then up here in June, they announced another $1.5 million registered direct offering priced at market. These are not discounted prices and these are not public offerings. These are investments. To give you a quick glance at each one, I've taken some screenshots of the excerpts from each one of these news presses. One came out May 22nd, May 23rd, and June 2nd, and each one of these reads pretty much the same way. The company has entered into a definitive agreement for the purchase of so many shares of the company's common stock, and they are selling these at market prices. This is huge, folks. We have got a $1.5 million purchase, 2.6 million and 1.4 million in the last three weeks. That's a total of $5.5 million invested into this company by three investors when the company's not making any money. Why would they do that? We know why. They're on the cusp. They're on the verge of commercialization. And now is the time to consider it before it takes off. Jumping back into that news. Now we just got done reading news that they were gonna be doing a human trial in Brazil. Wouldn't it be nice if we could get one of those in the US? We got one. News came out May 25th. They tell us here that Leahy Hospital and Medical Center agrees to become one of the U.S. sites for the Liberty Robotic System's first human trial. This significant achievement represents a major progression toward regulatory and commercialization paths. Additional sites in the U.S. are expected to participate in this trial. This is outstanding, folks. They're building up momentum. They're getting a lot of interest in this, so it could launch a lot sooner than we think. They tell us that Leahy Hospital and Medical Center is a world-renowned academic medical center based in Burlington, Massachusetts, and they are now expected to be one of the U.S. sites for the first ever human trial of the Liberty Robotic Surgical System. Leahy, they have performed countless human trials, and we believe its involvement, coupled with the performance of the Liberty Robotic Surgical System during the animal studies, will be invaluable to our clinical advancements as we move into the next phases. The company's next steps include the submission of the investigational device exemption application with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and Institutional Review Board, among others. And the last piece of news here, Microbot Medical receives a non-dilutive grant from Israel Innovation Authority supporting the development of the manufacturing process of its endovascular surgical robot system. They tell us here that the company has received a grant from Israel Innovation Authority in the amount of just under a half a million dollars. This is to further the support and development of the company's manufacturing process of its flagship robotic surgical system, the Liberty. In relation to the grant, Microbot is obligated to pay royalties accounting to between three and 5% of the future sales of the Liberty product up to the grant amount plus interest. So once they pay back this grant, which I always thought was free, once they pay it back, those royalties quit. That's what it sounds like to me. So they're getting the backing to build a factory. It looks like in Israel. I'm not quite sure where they're going to build it, but I'm assuming if Israel's giving them the grant, that's where the factory is going to be built. And they're going to be selling this all over the world as it gets approved.
So let's go take a look at that chart because it exploded May 22nd and I think it's going to explode again. Right now she's on a double bounce on that 200 and I'm feeling pretty good that that's exactly what it's going to do. Bounce. Step right on up and take a seat. We're about ready to do our charting on MBOT, ticker MBOT, Microbot Medical. We're going to be doing all of our charting on Thinkorswim. This is a free trading platform you get just by signing up with TD Ameritrade. And that's free too. So we are looking at a six month, four hour view for MBOT. We got our high bubble six months ago of $5.85 when she was above the 200. She hasn't been above the 200 very often. She fell here and she fell for a long time, hitting a low of 10 cents mid-May. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my regression channel while we're here and I'm gonna poke that day and just drag the regression channel over. It automatically sets itself up so I don't have to do any work here. Now you can see off of that low bubble, she did start to climb. She worked her way up to that 50 day SMA and right there when she got over it, she exploded, but she had help. She had a hot catalyst. This is May 22nd when that news came out about the 100% success rate with the animal trials. She ran here from about $1.17 up to $4.45. You're looking at 350% gains. She came back down, fell back into this channel where she was at. She hit the very bottom right here. She has bounced up and now she's riding on the middle line, the dotted line down the highway. Now, when you look at our oscillators, it looks like she's rolling back down and she's gonna come back down either to the bottom of this channel or the 200. Both are real close right now. And honestly, I do expect that. That is the way it looks right now. Volume, nil, right? We lost like nine tenths of our volume going from 7.5 million to 500,000 shares. So when the volume comes back with this low float with a hot piece of news for a catalyst, this thing could rock it. But right now, it looks like she's probably gonna test that 200 or that channel bottom again. 20 day, one hour view. So she came way out of the channel, back in, bounced off the bottom right there, and you can see she's on her 50 day SMA. That is supporting her pretty well right now. Osculators aren't showing a whole lot of strength. Everything is still pushing down even on the hourly chart. Five day, five minute. So she got above her 200, stayed above it for three days, hit a high on Thursday of $2.82, and Friday she dipped a little bit, and she's ended the day at 261, even dribbling after market hours down to what? 256. And as I said, I think she's gonna come back down, which isn't a problem, because we wanna get a position, maybe just an entry position right now, because we don't know what's gonna happen. News hasn't come out, Catalyst isn't here yet, so you don't wanna put everything into it at one time, because what if it falls? If you only buy 25% of what you want and she falls, you can have a party because you're getting a better deal. You can buy more shares, which you wanted to do anyways, and wouldn't you like to buy them at a better price? So we're gonna watch this for a dip. Somewhere down here, ooh, near two bucks. Yeah, I think she's gonna actually drop from way up there back down to two bucks. That's without any catalyst showing up. A catalyst shows up, that's gonna change everything. She could explode. She is in a position to bounce. I don't think she's gonna fall, but I think she's going to dip, and I think she's gonna dip hard, so I'd keep aware of that. MBOT, there's a lot of interest in it. That's gonna help. The more people watching it, the more price action we're gonna get. So what are you thinking about MBOT? You like it? I do. I think it's a hot stock. The stock itself is above the 200. It's waiting for a catalyst. So it is set up nicely. Yeah, I think she's going to dip, but that's going to give us an opportunity to buy in cheap. But now is a good time to be looking at the company itself because they're on the verge of commercialization of the Liberty Robotic System. And I think it's going to be a hot product. I think every hospital in the world is going to want it. Why not? It's gonna help their doctors stay safe. It's gonna help their patients. It's gonna help their bottom line. And that's what every hospital is interested in. So I see a lot of potential with this company and all we're waiting for are some successful human trials and then this thing could rock it to the moon. There's a lot more information to be known about the company. So as I always say, do your own due diligence. The more you know, the more you're gonna grow.
See you, folks. <laughs>